right, we have big information coming in on the water crisis. According to RWA of Bengaluru South, private water tankers are, have charged 600 for 6,000 litres of water. Now they're charging about 1,500 to 2,000 for the same quantity of uh, water. Now this is precisely what uh, I did mention earlier, where water tankers are now charging huge prices only to bring borewell water and supply it to uh, houses that are in need. But, but Anaga is joining us for more on that. Anaga, this, is, this was expected. You call a private water tanker, they're going to charge a price according to their whims and fancies. The government says we're now going to crack down on them. Uh, we will streamline, streamline them, ensure that they give uh, a fair price to people who are currently in dire need. But that process will take a few days for them to actually register with a portal. Until then, their tankers could be standing at risk of being seized. Well, Nabila, the residents certainly are not happy with government taking over the private tankers because I'll tell you why. They are stating that all these days we were in touch with private tankers, although they did jack up the prices, at least they were responsive. But now we have to be in touch with government authorities and we really don't have any trust in them is what the residents are saying. They are saying that instead of government taking over the private tankers, they should have just regulated the prices and left the management part to the private tankers in itself. Now, this is the reaction that we are hearing in from the residents in Bangalore on ground. They're certainly not happy with them, you know, with the government authorities being the point of contact. They are saying that we are dependent on water for twice a day. It comes once in the morning, once in the evening, but that quantity is not enough. What do we do in the, in the you know, what do we do in the afternoon? What do we do in the timeline in the middle? So, hence, that is leaving us to be heavily dependent on these private tankers now, what do we do? Where, you know, where do we go? We need to wash our cars. We need to do our mundane activities. Even Nabila, you know, there were curbs being put on washing cars, even using swimming pool, you know, for using water for gardening purposes. So all these things will be curbed in the upcoming days is what we are hearing. Yeah, in fact, we, we've seen uh, the SOS note sent out by the apartment management where they say all work or uh, stuff that you have to do that... Uh, that needs water, please postpone it for the next few days, even if it means not washing your clothes for the next week. A dire situation indeed. We're going to continue tracking those developments. Anaga, thanks very much.